lunch with Jesus. He remembered us in our weakness. His faithful love endures forever. Psalms chapter 136 verse 23. My lovely granddaughter invited me to lunch today. Needless to say, I was thrilled. I arrived at the restaurant quite early and was seated at the table where I could see the front door. I didn't want to miss one second of their arrival. I was feeling so honored. While I waited, the waitress seated an older couple in the booth across from me. They sat down and took out their cell phones. By the time the waitress returned to their drink order, they had not spoken one word to each other. After ordering drinks and salads, the couple returned to their cell phones. The waitress came back to take their entry order and remove their empty salad plates. Then, their attention once again turned to their respective cell phones. I was fascinated. Their entry finally came and so did my granddaughters. While enjoying the animated lunch and conversation with my granddaughters, I kept glancing at the non-communicating couple. Not one word had passed between them. When they finished their meal, the man helped the woman put on her jacket and off they went with the cell phones in their hands. Can you believe they were not interested in talking to each other? Amazing! They didn't seem upset nor did they act mad. They were simply indifferent. I guess I am the proverbial monkey. I like to talk and I enjoy other people talking to me. I feel safe in saying that Jesus is the same way. He is so very accessible to each of us. The Bible reveals that people love talking to him. They came in groups, they came alone, they came during the day and even at night. And Jesus enjoyed talking to people because they were, and still are, the love of his life. The condition they were in, their financial status, none of that mattered to Jesus. He interacted with all who came to him. Some left his presence healed of their diseases. All left his presence with a deep sense that he loved them and wanted them to follow the path of eternal life. After all, his faithful love endures forever. So, why not make a day to have lunch with Jesus today? Take the time to talk to him. He wants to hear from you. He is the best listener ever. He keeps your secret. He knows how to solve your problems. He really, really cares about you. Grace A. Kenny So, what do you think about this story? Comment down below and let's share your thoughts.